Okay. Uh, I've been working on this for a while now. Um, I had quite a bit to do. And uh, I had a few problems. I didn't know how I was going to put this gun on here. And uh, essentially, I, um, this gun wasn't perfectly oval. It was a little narrower at this end than it was that end. So basically, I, I mounted it. I measured around the sides, from the sides of the boat, and I, I just nail it on each end so that it would rock. And then what I did when I mounted this thing, I measured off the corners, and uh, I got them all pretty much equal, and I clamped them, and I, and I nailed them. I have a, uh, a, a staple gun, and then they're a two-inch staple, so it a little hole. I nailed it and glued it. Then I kind of stretched this one over till we got the, the same amount and, uh, uh, on each side and I nailed it. Okay. Then I, uh, on the edges here, because I'm going to have decking and the decking will butt up against this, I had to have something to set on. So I took strips of redwood and uh, I measured them and um, I got the, the length and I forget what the length is now, but it was straight and I uh, had to make this curve. And so what I did is I took my scroll saw and I scored all along the back here. I'll get the camera here and I'll show you. I scored all along the back of this thing, as you can see. And I went all the way along the edge. And as you can see, it bent quite nicely. And I coated that with a thick coat, thick coat of glue. And a lot of that glue got down in these cracks. So essentially, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. It doesn't move. Everything's good. And that strip is in there. So when I place my decking on there, let me get a piece of decking. I put, put my decking on here. I'll have, I'll put my decking on there. I'll have some place that it's going to keep it from floating. You know, I'll have, a, you know, I'll cut the curve. I'll fit tight up against, I'll fit tight up against the, uh, the cockpit. And it gives it some support. So if I put my hand here or kneel or do something, it's not going to be floating. It'll be it'll be nice and solid. Okay. Um, something else I did is all along the side of the boat, which I'll try to get in here for you. I'm talking and doing this, so bear with me. But I had to fit these pieces in here because when I go to put the deck on, I'm going to start in the center. And, and I wasn't going to start in the center, but if I don't start in the center and come straight across, the ends would be uh, would would want to float. See, so therefore, if I start in the middle, I always have some place for my ends to be fastened down. Okay, so and uh, I think I'm going to uh, basically just glue this deck down there. Um, I might put a few nails in it, but I'm not going to put too many because I don't want to mar the the surface. Okay, I'm going to try to try to get it glued and all fiberglass together. So I had to put these side pieces in here. I don't even know what you want to call them, but I put these side pieces in there all along the boat in between each one of the deck ribs. Okay. Right here I put solid blocks, and the reason I put two solid blocks is it helped give me something to fashion to when I uh, when I did the gunnel, you know, or when I did the cockpit. And I wanted to make sure it was going to be nice and sturdy and it wasn't going to float. So I, I've used cedar there. The whole boat I made out of this red cedar except for the plywood ribs. Okay, everything is, uh, is that western red cedar. And you can get this western red cedar relatively cheap. Uh, I got mine at a, at a uh, wholesale outlet, uh, fencing outlet, and uh, they had uh, quite a nice supply, and they had some, uh, oh, 12 by 12 beams, and they were running just under 100 hours, but they were 12 foot long, and there was hardly a knot in them, so I mean, it was really, really clear stuff. So if you have a saw, you can rip it down, you save yourself a lot of money, rather than going out and buying the three-quarter and ripping it down, if you have some way of resawing it with a large band saw, or if you can know of a mill nearby where you can get them to cut it down to just a little over a quarter inch thickness, 
you'll have all the wood you need to, to make one of these. So anyway, I, I put these blocks in there. So, and I put them both ways because I'm not quite sure. I'm going to float this thing before I mount the oars. I want to see how I sit in it. Uh, I still have to make a seat. And I want to see how the thing floats before I determine where I want to put my oar locks. Because I don't want the front to be down or up. I want to sit relatively, well, maybe a little off level. But, uh, okay. And here's my floorboards. I put some floorboards in it. I haven't fastened them down yet which I plan on doing and I plan on adding a couple shorter floorboards on each side. But I'm going to leave a gap in them. I'm also going to make a seat that's removable or adjustable so that you know if I carry a little extra weight in the front or the back that I'll be able to be able to uh, trim the boat and make sure it sits level in the water. Uh, these pieces here I plan on tapering off tapering off to the corner to get rid of that and underneath here where we can see these coming down, I'm gonna I'm gonna trim them down, taper those down also. So we'll have no sharp corners. Got a lot of sanding to do, but uh, today I'm gonna to start putting the deck on. So wish me luck and I'll see you next film.